This is Brian Culver Rubius. In this video, we're going to have a look at Pear Deck. Pear Deck is an add on for Google Slides. It allows you to add interactive elements to your slideshows. Your slides are pushed out to your students as you step through your lesson. While presenting in Pear Deck, students are asked questions. Or you can gather feedback with engaging features such as drawing or draggable objects. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install Pear Deck and create your first interactive slideshow. Then you'll learn how to present your lesson and see what the students see. Pear Deck is not a Chrome extension. Instead, it's an add-on for Google Slides. You find the Pear Deck add-on from the Google Marketplace. Search for Pear Deck and select the one for Google Slides. Your school district tech person can also push this out to anyone. After you install Pear Deck, you'll find it in the add-on menu. You will also find the Pear Deck button added to your toolbar. It's kind of hard to miss. Use either of these to launch the Pear Deck window. Pear Deck will ask for permission to run in this document. This is typical of any application that integrates with Google. This panel on the right side of the screen gives you the tools to embed interactive elements into your slides. Let's start with a simple slideshow to understand how Pear Deck works. Include questions throughout your slides as you normally would. For the first example, we'll add a multiple choice field. Students will see your slide with a multiple choice question. From the Pear Deck window, select Choice. Pear Deck shows you a preview of how this will appear on students and the projector screens. The idea is that the display board in the classroom will show the results while students are prompted with a question. Click Next to continue. Here you add your choices to the question. Add a few options for students to choose from. Click the X on the right side to remove a choice. Then click the Update button. Pear Deck will add an overlay bar across the bottom of your slide. You'll also notice text appears in the speaker notes below. You want to ignore these. This controls how Pear Deck displays and interacts with your students. Now let's launch our Pear Deck session. Do this by clicking the Start Lesson button. Make sure to use the green Pear Deck button instead of the regular Present button. This will create a new Pear Deck session. Let's talk a little bit about how sessions differ from your slides. Your slides are materials that you show to your students. A session is like an event. It is a time when you're presenting your materials to your students. Suppose you teach English first hour and third hour. You may show the same slide deck in both classes, but you will start a separate session for each hour. By clicking the Start Lesson button, you're starting a new Pear Deck session. Each session may have different students participating. Pear Deck will open the projector screen. It will also have a second pop-up screen. This second screen is intended for teacher's eyes only. The student's responses are not anonymous on this pop-up screen. You may want to minimize this or drag this to a second screen. Students have a couple of ways to join your Pear Deck session. First, they can visit joinpd.com and enter a code to join. This is typical for students physically in your class with you working on Chromebooks or some other device. You can also share a link with students. You can click on Give Students a Link to copy the address to your clipboard, then post to Google Classroom, email, or share over a Google Meet chat window. When a student joins your session, Pear Deck starts with a wellness check. I'll show you later how to enable or disable this feature. From your dashboard, you're able to see how they answered this question. The projector view is what you show on the big screen in your class, or maybe the Google Meet screen or Zoom screen. This is your main display window to your students. On the student's device, Pear Deck shows your slide with the question prompt. Students answer your question on their device. Back on the projector screen, you see how many students have responded, and you can show or hide responses on the projector board. The lock screen feature freezes students and closes the current question. The student screen shows that responses are locked. You can set a timer for this question. Students see the timer on their screen, and the screen locks after the time expires. You can end the session by clicking N on the projector screen. You can give the session an optional name. Give this a name that will help you identify it later. I'll show you later where to find these sessions. You can also change the name to help keep it organized. You don't have to close the Pear Deck session. Your lesson could be taught in the first few slides. Then you could leave the session open to allow students to continue 
to work at their own pace. The session could be closed at a later time. Pear Deck will create a Google Doc for each student. The doc will contain all of your slides. Students will also have their own answers for further reflection. It will not include answers from other students. The text question allows you to add open-ended questions to your interactive slideshow. Put a writing prompt on the slide, then add the text question from the Pear Deck panel. You will see a preview showing how the question will look on the student device and on your projector screen. Click the blue update slide button to continue. Pear Deck will add a footer along the bottom of the slide. From the student's perspective, they will see your slide and have a place to add their own answer. You can show students answers on the projector screen by using the show response button. I found this wellness check graphic in the Pear Deck template library. The library is absolutely worth exploring. You'll find a ton of ideas curated by Pear Deck by some amazing teachers. In this example, students will drop a dot to show how they are doing. While on this slide, click the draggable question in the panel. Select the item from the dropdown you want to add. You can choose the shape, symbols, numbers, or icons. You can change the color by clicking on the color picker. You can include multiple items to your draggable slide. If you add too many, use the X button to remove extra items. Students will see your slide with the draggable items on the screen. This specific example is personal and has sensitive information, so it's a great time to use the pop-up presentation screen that is opened when you launch your session. That way, these answers can stay anonymous. The number response is similar to an open-ended question. The prompt will not accept a text answer. From the pop-up screen, you can see answers along a number line, or by changing the view, you can more easily see who gave you what answer. When you choose a template, it will insert a new slide. In this case, let's insert a graph. That way, we can explore the drawing tool. While viewing the graph slide, click the drawing tool. Then, click Update Slide to continue. You can change the text element to customize your question or instructions. While using the graphing tool, students can draw on the screen. This may be tricky with a mouse or a trackpad, but the students can draw a straight line while holding the shift key as they draw. The pop-up screen shows answers overlap to give you a more general check on student understanding, or you can switch to grid view to see individual responses. There are a couple different ways to show a video in Pear Deck. In this example, we're going to add to a slide using the insert menu. With this, you can show the video in class on the projector screen, or the student can click on the video to open a new tab on their device. You may want to add a new slide to the Pear Deck during the presentation. You can do this quickly by pulling in a Pear Deck template into your slides. From the pop-out screen, you can find a new prompt button. Pear Deck will offer you a few helpful suggestions. In this case, we'll add a slide for student reflection. This is a drawing slide, but students can also use the text box to type in their responses. This tutorial just showed the tip of the iceberg. Pear Deck is the kind of tool that can do a whole lot of different things. If you have any ideas for how you want to use Pear Deck or have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. I would really love to hear what you have to say. And I appreciate you watching and let me know if I can help.